Like many actors, Home and Away was the launch pad for Martin Dingle Wall's career. Since adding various other Aussie small screen dramas and movies to his resume, he packed up about four years ago and set up camp over there in La La Land. Yeah, and it was there in Hollywood where the 45-year-old took stock of his life. He quit booze, welcomed his son, and landed not one but three feature film roles. And Martin joins us now live. Hi, Martin. Hello, thank well, you. Welcome. You look surprised. Welcome we're... back to Channel. It was like listening to my funeral. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is your. More. This is your this life. This is your life. Let's do it that way. Kind of feel rather than a eulogy. Uh, you moved to LA four years ago. What brings yes. you home? What brings me home? Um, the most random answer is. I wound up in Russia a couple of years ago on a feature film that part of the buzz is it turned out to be an entirely Russian film that I had to speak Russian in the romantic lead of for the whole film. Wow. Um, Did you not know that? I, it was, I was sent an English speaking script and when I arrived in Moscow there were none of them and I quickly put together that it's entirely in Russian so I had four days to work that out. Oh. Did you did you have any Russian up your sleeve when you arrived? <laughs> About as much as I do right now. So you Just actually had, had, had okay, Nyet. okay. Nyet is the answer. Nyet. Nyet is well, the answer you to speak, that. You speak, French, <laughs> you speak French and Russian. <laughs> you are like it's what welcome to SBS <laughs> in the morning show. Um, mate, how do you learn Russian in four days? You um you you abandon English. You abandon the idea that any sort of foundation word structure is gonna be of any use. And you start spelling out words on a 24-hour system um, into what makes sense. And you just, you do whatever you have to do. You actually wake up a part of your brain that probably went dormant when you were 14 because you weren't good at maths. You just have to That's build incredible. an internal did matrix. You, did you do what all of us do on our resumes and lie? Did no, you I didn't like, even. I absolutely did not say. The offer came through. I read it in English. <laughs> it was a beautiful rom-com. I said yes. I got there. And when I was derailing a bit on, is this... This is not a co-pro. Like, there are five, six scenes with your American co-star, who's my character's personal assistant, is... and the rest is in fluent Chekhovian Russian. So, And it turns out that outside of Russia, the biggest Russian film festival in the world is in Australia. So it is now here, and I'm here that on a press junket. I love that. that. That is extraordinary. It's taken me 51 years to try and learn English, and I can't. <laughs> Listen, we're no different. I don't have a great command of English, but... Yeah. But that's what these actors do. Actors, actors, actors what actors they can do. adapt. Following your move to Hollywood, and this right. was a big moment for you, came to the realisation that alcohol was a problem for you. Yeah. Um, as we hear your beautiful baby, loving dad, cheering for dad. Uh, tell us about the moment the penny dropped for you in relation to that. Right, well, it was because of my amazing wife. She, um, she'd been, you know, lit, well, she's my fiancé at the time, mm -hmm. and a year into it, where I wasn't locking things in she um was like you know you're becoming borderline unpleasant and it's linked to that's when you're at your worst and i had to take it on and i marched off to my first meeting and within two hours of being in that room the um argument was undeniable and i had i guess what you call the epiphany of those stories of me and i made the commitment and you know it, it's it, it that was my journey and almost to the mm. calendar day, which is undeniable, you know, I've had phenomenal progressors in Hollywood. You're right. Um, and, it, you know, my fiancé became my wife, my son arrived, uh, you know, booked yeah. about three or four films back to back, so it's all starting, but that was my demon, yeah. yeah. Good um, on you, Mark. Yeah, well, it's, 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 yeah, it's fantastic. Undeniable for me. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about Happy Hunting. This right. was a horror film that mm -hmm. you didn't realise that Mel Gibson's son was the director. Not until I was about three weeks into production, yeah. and there was. You don't know a lot about the movies you're going into. <laughs> I'm worried that you're not I'm doing a pattern as we speak. <laughs> I'm like, I really need some sort of manager or agent to yeah, handle yeah, this yeah. stuff with me. Fine print, it's called. <laughs> not important. Yeah, yeah. It was that. Uh, there you go. Um, yeah, it was. It's um, good reviews. It's it's getting stellar oh. reviews, and it's going to screen at AFM tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, so things could not be. They took. Award for Best Cinematography from the country, America's biggest um, domestic film festival, Good horror thing. festival. Good stuff, buddy. So you're it's all, it's all, it's all cooking on. You're on fire at the moment. <laughs> Listen, we're going <laughs> to race you. through this. It's a fun yeah. thing we do. It's called co-star connotations. Right. We're going to ask you this. to say just a word or a, a couple of words about some of your good buddies that you've worked with. Right. So first up, uh, from your days on Home and Away, right. Kate Ritchie, first thoughts. Every time. Every time. Well, every time Meaning what? that every time she's worked as an actor, she's worked opposite me and vice versa. Oh, Every oh, job okay. she's done in her career yeah. as an actor, okay. I've played a partner. Great. Okay, nice one. Um, Nicole Kidman? Stranger Land. Um, brave, nude, you know. She did some audacious stuff in that film. Mm. Yeah, yeah, OK. Uh, Antonio Banderas? <laughs> Antonio. Seductive. 
Puss in Boots. Oh. Yeah, he, he's pretty. Um, he's he's pretty intoxicating. Very funny. Massive presence. Yeah. yeah. Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving. Okay. Block Walker. What does that mean? Block Walker means when we spoke, he talked about how he just likes to leave his house and walk around the block and live a oh. very simple life outside of his Lord of the Rings world. I thought it was a movie no, about he just someone said, who walked with blocks. He likes to walk blocks, as we spoke about. Uh, and animal rights. He's, he's big on that too, actually. Yeah, yeah, OK. Uh, lastly, quickly, Mel Gibson's son, who you didn't know you were going to work with. You just turned up on set and oh. there it was. Gee, Louis. Louis. Like Louis. See that. Look at, how did you miss that? Look yeah, that. steel. Because it's those eyes. Yeah. There's just right. there's a Gibson gene, which is like, wow, <laughs> when you see it. When you see it, yeah. it's like... I got it. Yeah. 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 Um, good to see you, mate. Continued you. success. It's all going on for you over there. We wish Thanks, you all the best fun. of luck. Thank you Great very much. You. Uh, if you or someone you know does have a problem with alcohol, you can head to our website for information about support services. But great chat. Really great to see you. Great to great see you. Awesome, guys. Thank you.